See, I just had to go live real quick because this is what happens when you get married. These are supposed to be my pants. Now, you see how big they are on him. You can clearly see they're too big on him. But he's trying to figure out how he's going to wear my pants. Now, mind you, they're brand new. He just went in the closet and put, just took them out and put them on. Like they belong to him. They're ours. Clearly, you can see they're too big. They're Clearly, ours. You can see these pants are too big. Ours. Ours. And now he... Uh, they're ours. Ours. Mine, yours, yours, ours. My pants. Ours. Now, clearly, ours. if you Let's see say it together. Ours. how skinny he is versus how big I am, one, clearly my big ass don't have no need in them little ass pants. Ours. What's up, Tweet? But I'm, not, I'm still trying to understand why. I'm still trying to understand why he got my pants on. How the hell did that light come on? I don't know. You put it on. But it came on on its own. Oh, it must Hours. come on if it thinks it's too dark. Ours. Ours, right? Mine. Mine, yours. My pants. Yours. Ours. My pants. Clearly my pants. You see all that extra. All this extra right here. All this extra because it's too. It's not even his size. My size. Well, he the one that said that I can wear them, right? Just go in the closet, pull out my brand new pants. Hours. Hours. You can wear mine. We ain't married yet. You can wear mine. What am I going to do with yours? They're going to be just as tight as those are on me. Okay, well then. Yours ain't even going to button around my waist. That's not my fault. At least my brother. You're taller than me. You're taller than me. So, I mean, that's not my fault. Your waist is smaller than mine. So, they won't even button around. I can get my legs in them. But they won't button around my waist. That's not my fault. And it's not my either. fault. Now, these were the pants I was supposed to get married in. But when I put them on, and they look like a pair of tights. <laughs> Ooh, them things was tight. Ooh, if I would have no. sat down, they would have just split. I know they would have split because my thigh's too big. I ain't even got no ass, but it was tight around my ass. I can button them. And I'm like, oh, I think I gained a pound or two. But they Chinese size. But anybody that knows Joseph knows that he has the cutest little butt. It's like like this cute, the cutest little apple, little look, look like two little apples. It's just so cute. I ain't got no ass. He got these pair of jeans. Could you wear those today when we arrive? No. Please. He got the cutest little, these jeans. They like these stretch jeans that he wears. And he looks so good in them. He don't think he look good in them, but he looks so good in them. I ain't never and I'm said always I don't trying to make him put them on, and he don't never want to put them on when I ask him to put them on. The only reason why I don't like them, because one, I don't wear skinny jeans. I thought it said slim fit, but they actually said skinny. I hate tight shit. I just do. And they are tight, tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that ain't my groove. Woo. What's up, Omar? Hey, Omar. But he got on my pants that I was going to wear to the wedding. Now, clearly, if he didn't... He is not telling you the whole if story. He, he him, cannot fit them. My big ass don't need to wear them. He can't fit them, Omar. I can fit them. No, you lies from the book I of lies. I can put them pants on lies and button them. Lies from the book of now, lies. Now, they might be tight lies and I can't from sit the down, book of lies. but I can Everybody, fit them. Everybody, turn, turn your, close your Bibles and turn to the book of lies. Whatever, I have them on. Verse 3. No. Chapter 3, verse 1. I can fit my Lies pants. from the book of lies. Joseph cannot fit into those jeans. I will put them on and, and come back. Now, I ain't going to say that when I get them can on, that I should sit down. Can you breathe? Because if I sit down, they're probably going to split in the side seat. Exactly. In the so, middle, in the back. So, what's the sense? Don't make, that. They shouldn't go to waste, right? Don't make them go to waste. He's just going to go in the me. closet, get my brand new Give pants them to me. and put them on. Because he told me that I could have them, I could wear them. I said you probably can fit them. Okay, well I'm just trying them on. I'm just trying them on. I just tried them on. Good God! Now you got an attitude because the same jeans that you told me that I might be able to fit and I should try them on. I'm trying on now. You having to fit because I took them out of the closet. <laughs> and I had them hidden in the back because I know he won them. 
Now you know you can't hide nothing from your husband. No, because look at my look at my jeans. Look at them. Look at them in the mirror. They all nice and written on like a newspaper. Nice, nice, nice. I like them. I like them. You can't have nothing for yourself. Can you tell you me mad? about drinking haterade? Are you drinking haterade? No, because they're mine. You're drinking haterade, Joseph. You're drinking haterade. And then you sit You're there drinking haterade. Getting them all hot and sweaty. You're drinking haterade. Well, do you want me to take them off on live? Because <laughs> I'll give everybody a show. <laughs> oh, yes, I will. I'll give you a show. Oh, my God. I look a mess. I need to shave. Me I need too. to cut my oh hair. My it's hot. I got to shave. I'm getting ready to go and do that now. Ugh. I'm hot. I'm moist. Ooh. <laughs> that could be a good thing, right? Moist. Immersed. I'm moist. Immersed. I hate that word. I know. My cakes is moist. Ew. That mean you need I to clean your party lovely. box out. Y'all need to just give them to me and that will solve everything. Omar, you can have, you know what? I'll give you that. I'll give you that, Omar. Only because you're going to be my new brother-in-law. I'll give you that. You can have the jeans. And if I told you how much I pay for these with their Chinese size, that's why they're so small. I yeah, didn't pay little, attention when I ordered excuse. them. She said they from the from their Chinese size. They are Chinese size. All my pants that size in the closet fit me. Those things fit me like. That's the new. That's, that's the new excuse. I couldn't fit them because they Chinese size. Made Ling made them. The new ones are the same size. Mm. Now my new ones are even better than those. You love your brother-in-law. Why? Because if you're trying to read me, <laughs> that's why you love him. Yo, bitch. Uh -huh. Yo, black bitch. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. I look a hot-ass mess. Ooh, I got a David, bump here. David Walker. Hey, David Walker. Hey, Eddie. I got a bump here. I got all of this going on. I need to pull it wait. together. I don't wave at people I don't know. Oh, you might know them. No, I don't know. Right, exactly. I know how you operate, monster. I'll put the jeans away for you, Omar, until you come up here. He didn't get my... That was too big for him, too. Y'all about the same size on the bottom. Oh well, that's good. Me and Omar, we can we can we can do we can you know, we can I know go shopping you want together all his shirts and stuff. Cause you like them old tight ass shirts. Yes, 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 Omar. We can go shopping together. Oh and God, stuff. here came trouble. Hey Curtis, there go Curtis again. Don't y'all start fighting. <laughs> here go trouble, Curtis ass. Who was that? Kenwood. Kenrod. Kenrod. Hey, how you doing, Kenrod? Hey, Curtis. Don't thank me because I ain't giving you shit. Yes, sir, I'm going to give them to you, Omar. I'm going to make sure I put them in the back of the closet. But if he loses weight, then uh, you ain't got no fight in the game. He claims that he's going to lose the weight to get into the jeans. So, First of all, anybody that knows me know I am not big on the bottom. I'm, my bottom is small. So clearly those size 38s are Chinese well, made. What's the problem? What's the they problem? they Chinese made. They don't have a Chinese label in them, Joseph. Yes, they are Chinese made. Where's it the says Chinese it comes label? from China. Oh, because it comes from China. It's Chinese made. Yes, and that's why they're so damn tight and small. Well, guess what, Joseph? All damn jeans come from China. Whatever. I don't have problems with pants. Now, shirt, you know. I'm a big bitch on the top. Yeah, Eddie here, child. You know what that means. Who's Hola. Eddie? Who is Eddie? Eddie, me and Eddie grew up together. Okay. We grew up together. We saw each other, but we didn't become friends until Omar introduced us because Eddie is a nasty little shady Puerto Rican, honey. Don't say that about people. That's not nice. That's not nice. You should hear what Eddie says about us. What? All kind of hurtful, evil things that make me and Omar cry. Oh, Papa, don't say that. Don't <laughs> he does. That. He's going to start on the live. Trust me, he's going to start. What? Start what? See, exactly. I told you. Then that's the same size he is, but he got on my 38s with a belt. I'm actually a 31. He says lose weight, but only after you give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> they nice, too. They real nice. Did you, you show him another He's picture still... of them? I'm going to stand. 
he's he gonna model my jeans. You see how big they are? Turn around. They fit me. They just look too goddamn tight. They nice, right? Those my jeans. They nice, right, Omar? Because she wears Spanx. <laughs> see? See, they're going to add a start and talk about I wear Spanx. Well, if I put on a pair of Spanx, they probably fit me tight and decent enough. <laughs> Those were going to be the pants I got married in. But when I put them on, I was like, these look like a pair of tights. You know and if Quinn? I sit down... That's it. It's over. They're gonna pop. See, Omar said he loves them. They are. They nice. They real nice, and they are comfortable too. But I'm not really. I probably won't wear them because they they not tight enough for me. I like skinny jeans. So, um, well, they good and skinny on my big ass. Yeah, they are. They real. You know, they you know they tight as tight as hell on yours. Yeah, they real tight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They fit me like. He got yams. He got yams. They go Gloria. Gloria. Oh, hey, Gloria. How you doing? Bust open the crack. If I wear them pants, I would bust open the crack. I don't even know how I would sit there. If I sat down, I'd probably catch a yeast infection. Why don't you go and try them on for everybody? What? Try them on for everybody. We'll go take them off. Okay. He's going to take them off and I'm going to put them on because he insists that I can't fit them. But I can't because I had them on. But they're just like... I'm telling you, you see everything. Balls, dick, ass, and I ain't even got no ass. It's just it's just not cute. And then the ankles is about that wide. So these big 13 feet sliding in that little baby ankle part is a hot mess. So I got the pants now. He's going to hold the live. He got his little shorts back on. Okay, here I go. I'm telling y'all, when y'all see him in these jeans... Y'all are going to gag. Y'all are going to gag. It's like 10 pounds of ground beef in a one pound bag. <laughs> but Omar, listen, I got something for you. I do have something for you. If you want to, my, my, my brother-in-law sent me these shirts, oh, these designer shirt. shirts. Um, so I'm going to put one side for you because he sent me like three shirts. He sent me two of the same one. So these are the shirts right here. My mother had regretted giving them to me because she thought I was going to wear them to church. Go figure. Uh, you put but, me naked on no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not putting you naked on live, Papa. But I'm going I'm to, I'm I'm um, um, you know, put the shirt out so you can see what it looks like. So I'm going to save this for you, Omar. I'm going to save this shirt for you. But this is a really nice shirt. It's, it's got the 16th chapel on the front and the back of it. Um, I told you I fit these pants. It's really nice. This is it. You like that? You like that shirt? Pull your shirt up. Okay, everybody. Everybody, Joseph has put on the jeans. He has put on the jeans. I want y'all to see the big reveal. Y'all ready for this? 10 pounds of ground beef in a one pound bag. Turn around, turn around. What? Turn around, turn around. They're just tight as hell. I had to adjust my tuck. Have a seat. Go have a seat. Have, have, a seat. Seat. Have, have a damn seat. And what? They fit, I told you they fit, they just tight. They do fit. I don't kind like of cute my though. pants tight like that. They do fit. Stand up again. And go plus, stand up over look, there. And plus, I went to dialysis, so I was drained. I wasn't drained when I tried you know, on. I had two days with no dialysis. Stand up again. I want everybody to see. They only come up to here. Yes. Lord, see? That's where he was hiding. They don't come over That's where he was hiding. They only come up to weird. Turn around again. Let's see that. Let's see that. I can't pull them no higher. Oh, Lord, see? But Omar, like this, Omar, look, the look jeans good. are yours. They, the jeans. Oh, Omar said they look good on you. Yeah. No, he can. Omar, he can't pull them up to his waist. <laughs> look at it. He can't pull them up to his waist. 
Twerk, twerk, twerk. Twerk, twerk, twerk. Frost world problems. Yeah, he's doing a twerk. He's doing a twerk. <laughs> oh my no. No. I told you all I had to do was go to dialysis and let them drain me. Because they was tied in the next one I first put them on. Are they contagious? I don't think so. Wait a minute. I'm going to put on the other ones. You took it off me? Did you get your new ones? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I took the camera off of you. Yeah, Omar. Omar, um, I mean, um, Eddie said no shade. What did Eddie say? <laughs> Something shady. He says you look like a white girl with no ass. <laughs> 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 Eddie, don't be talking about my baby like that. That is not nice. I told you she was a mean, evil Puerto Rican. Don't say that, Eddie. That's not nice. Omar said you look good. Yeah, he got a new pair. So, you know, those were the jeans that he was supposed to get married in, you know, because we got kind of like matching outfits to get married in. Um, but the jeans, these, these jeans that he just tried on, they, they wouldn't fit. So he had to get another pair of jeans. And so, um, hey, Mario, you know, Mario. Um, so he got another pair of jeans, um, you know, for, you know, to get married. In. And these, I like these. I like these better than I like, even better than I like the ones that he just took off. So, uh, and these fit, hopefully. Hopefully. No, you did not say hopefully. Well, I mean, <laughs> these fit because they're American made. Are they Chinese? Oh, they oh they made they American made. They're not Chinese. They're American made. Oh, okay. These so are too he's about to try these new ones on that he just got, and they have like they're like white on the top, and then they have they, they like dyed black at the bottom. They really cool. They some cool jeans. See, these are too damn big. They're yeah. American made. Look at this. I should have gotten 38. Oh, okay. Well, I can, I can, um, these two I can take those in, Papa. I got my sewing machine. I mean, it's fine. It ain't too, too big. Okay, here's the big reveal. He's almost, he almost has them on. This is the big reveal. Okay, these are the new ones. Okay, turn around, Papa. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around, Papa. Yeah, see, these look better on him. These look better on him. Yeah, I mean, I can take them in and, you know, and, you know I could be stuff cute. like that. If I'm feel very strong. Oh, yeah, and then they got the zippers at the bottom and stuff well, like that. I have, I have a couple of pair of jeans like that, Papa. You want to And I ain't going oh, there you go. Yeah, I got a couple of pair of jeans like that. Oh, yeah. Those are cool. Those are cool. Yeah, so I like those. I like those better. Yeah, I like those better. <laughs> Curtis said, white girl, no ass. Good one. I'm crying. Omar said, laughing my fat ass off. He said, are they Chinese made? <laughs> well, these are American made. And I could have got my size on these. Eddie said, much better. Yeah, Eddie said, much better. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, I like those. Okay, stop modeling and take off the jeans for you get something on them, Papa. You better stop modeling for you hurt yourself. <laughs> I didn't talk yes, but yeah, the cameras are. I, well, I'm, they can't see you in the mirror because I'm blocking. They, blo I'm, I'm blocking it. Well, I see myself in the mirror. Okay, well, do well, you see you yourself in the mirror? Just my goods well, hey, they can't have it. They can't have it. Yeah, Kim would say he likes those. Those are very unusual. Thank you, Del Rico, for the congratulations. Ken Ross said, "Yes, work it." <laughs> now my shirt I got to go with is bad. Ooh, Omar said he just saw your cooter. <laughs> oh God, Omar. So let me know you want this shirt. I'm gonna hold on to it for you because I have like three of them. I have three of the same shirt. Two of the same. Yeah, two of the same shirt. This is what it looks like.
So let me know if you want the shirt. If you like it, I'll hold on to it. You're in the way. Open the door. Um, did you have clothes to give away? No. Oh, because I was going to say we can put them out there. You doing my Yeah. You need me for something? Yeah. Okay. I'll be right there. I want to ask you about the eBay stuff. Okay. Okay. Yeah, those are better, Papa. These match the shirt better. Yeah, they do. They match the shirt better and everything. Yeah. Eddie just, just, you know. You're crazy, Puerto Rican. Yeah, he said, bitch, what are you doing up, Olga? <laughs> and this is the shirt I'm wearing with the pants. Let me go see what I'm wearing. So yes, that's it. I told y'all I could fit my clothes. Oh. Yeah, start reading each other. Hi y'all, I'm back. I'm I'm fully dressed now. I'm tired of modeling. Thanks, though, Rico. Yeah, because it was going to be the shirt with the with these jeans, but then when these fit like a pair of tights, I had to go back and get those black and white ones. But the black and white ones, the, the last ones I just had on, go better with the shirt anyway. Oscar Mayer Deli Fresh Ham has no added nitrates. Nitrates are artificial preservatives. Now, Deli Fresh flavors for everyone. So, like yeah, that's my life. That's what I'm getting married in. I figure I wear white and black since, you know, I'm not technically a virgin per se. So, the black is representing my dark side. Because I am a born-again virgin. Huh? New York, New Jersey, what? I wasn't supposed to be on live again because he made a live this morning when he was cooking breakfast. You're not? I'm not what? A virgin? No, I'm not. I'm not. I know I tried to save myself till marriage, but it was just one person that convinced me to do it. And I did it. But you know, I've only had sex with one person in my entire life. One man. Oh, and one woman. So that counts as two. <laughs> Why y'all finding that hilarious? That I said I'm a virgin. Ooh, and she yelling lies. Your phone, why did your phone break? Yes, Ken Rod, I am very serious. I've only had sex with one man in my life. <laughs> and if you believe that, the Bayonne Bridge that's down the block from me, I'm selling it for five cents. I need to shave. I need to... See, but what's going to make me mad is I can really go two weeks without shaving. This is like three weeks worth of no nothing. I'm going to shave and get it together today because I look a hot mess. And then I'm going to have to turn about in two weeks because I'll get married in two weeks. Because if I don't let it grow out and I try to shave, I'm going to cut myself up and what have you. But I look a hot ass mess. But that's just because dialysis was kicking my ass this week. I don't know why, but it, Wednesday, I felt like when it was done, I got hit by a Mack truck. Yesterday, I, I was just like, 
I was on edge. And when I get that feeling, I have to drink coffee because for some reason, when I feel like I'm edgy, the coffee bring me down, which makes no sense because the coffee should make me even more edgy, but it brings me down. So I had to drink like two cups of coffee. So I was up all night. Just this week with the Alice's just was, it wasn't good. It wasn't good at all. Hopefully next week will be better. <laughs> what fake news, Omar? There is no fake news. Babe, can you go get my water, please? In the freezer. You was born edgy. You know, I have that little edgy thing about me, Eddie. I, you know, I know, but dialysis, it just, this week, it was just, ugh. I felt horrible afterwards every day. And normally, you know, I might have one bad day, but every day this week was a bad day. And then Wednesday was the worst. And Wednesday, I had so much stuff to do afterwards. I didn't get home till 5 o'clock, and I wanted to die. Thursday, I had to get up early because I had something to do. I didn't get home till 5 o'clock. I wanted to die. Yesterday, I had to get up early. And after dialysis, we went and picked up this marriage license, and I came home. But I couldn't rest because sometimes it make you feel like you kind of be exhausted, but at the same time, you... On the inside, you just racing like you want to run and, and exercise and do shit. But you know if you do it, you're going to pass the fuck out. That's how I felt. So when I couldn't drop that feeling, because sometimes I, I can get rid of it on my own. I was like, I need coffee. Hey, what's up, baby? Always sexy Quan, you know that. Who are you missing the gym? Me? Or a uh, little Mexico? I've been ready to block her a couple of times in life. But, no. She's a Virgo. She don't know no better. You have to give her that because she's a Virgo and don't know no better. You know, she's, she's not working with the right mind. Of the regular sign, she's a Virgo, and you know they they they're a little touched, they have issues. Chupacabra, <laughs> yes, she is a chupacabra. And ever since that, Alice is. I've been want. I like. I love eating ice. Like ice is the best thing. Oh, give me some ice from Sonic. That's all I need, and I'm happy. Virgos are crazy and mean. Oh, I forgot you a Virgo, Lauren. I'm a Sagittarius. Y'all don't want to know what I think about them. We're hunters. <clears throat> you right, Omar. He does have a milestone birthday coming up. Eddie, everybody, go to Eddie Justino's profile and you will see how good he looks to be turning 60 on the 24th of August. I believe his birthday was the day before my grandmother's or the 25th of August. She's going to be a whole 60 years old. You know what? Let's talk about age. You know what? I had somebody ask me the other day how old I was. Because <laughs> you short and petite, bitch. Whatever. I had somebody ask me the other day how old I was. And I tried to I tried to take this in such good spirit. He was like, how old are you? And I said, I'm 50 years old. He said, oh no, 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 no. That's not how it happened. I have to image because Omar, you know I can imitate somebody to the T. He goes, so how old are you? Answer. I said 50. Wow. You are really preserved to be 50. If you just dyed your beard, you would look really amazing. 
I just sat there and laughed. He's sitting there with yeah, that look on his face. That's why my beard is black right now. Because <coughs> guess what? He called me Uncle Ben after that. No, he goes, who, what, who, what can I call it to you? He said, because you're giving me Benson teas and you're giving me Miss Doubtfire teas. So, you know what? I'm just going to say Uncle Ben and Cream of Wheat. I was like, really, bitch? Cream of Wheat? Uncle Ben. <laughs> Uncle Ben. Ooh, Papa, I don't you know, know what the wear today. At, you know, crazy He's so excited because we go in the house, music in the ball. I'm going to see Kenny Bobian today. That's my dude. That's my best friend in the whole wide world. I'm going to see him today. I'm going to see him sing. I'm happy. Ain't nothing in this world that can shake me right now. <coughs> I ain't going. <laughs> Don't play games with my emotions. Don't play games with my emotions. I should have never told him, and I wouldn't be having to go. I've never talked to any of my like, past relationships. I've never even gotten to the point where they met my family. I mean, I love him. You know, yes, yeah, cream of wheat, bitch. The bitch called me cream of wheat. Well, he called me Uncle Ben. He said, you look like you just stepped off the rocks, but rice box, and bitch, you cream of wheat. Yeah, Curtis, I heard you and my husband have that in common. What's that? House music. Yes. That's where I come from. That's where I come from. I used to I used to sing house music. I actually have like three singles out. Um, and as a DJ, that's all I mix is house music. I kind of like fuse like house music with R&B. I do like a little Beyonce. Um, you know, other artists and stuff like that. My newest remix I did was for SZA. Yeah. See, that's, Curtis, that's, that's me, you, Ty, and my husband need to get together. Because Ty just sent me a text, and you and him. But I guess that's because both of y'all 50. <laughs> you and him, you like house music. Check you both like gold. You both like gold. Me and Ty both like regular music. And we both like platinum, silver, or white gold. So we have a whole lot in common. If you if you inbox me, I'll send you my mix hey, cloud. Um, I'll send you my mix cloud link. Listen to me on mix cloud. You'll like my you'll like my house mixes. They're just phenomenal. I get so many raves about it. I get so many you know good good good. Um, well, he'll be fifty one in December. Well, that's still old. Y'all both still old. What's old? What did, what, what were you talking about? Old. You old, babe. I'm not old. Yes, you are, but I love you anyway. <laughs> Y'all, did this look old? Did this look old? Really? You gonna just strip mm -hmm. on the live? Do that look old? That is not old. Look. It's a six pack in there somewhere, right? What's that? Mm. I'm not old. Do I look old? <laughs> I do not look old. Do I look 50 years old? No. Right? Right? Thank you, everybody, that's saying What's up, Sean? Yes, Adrian. Curtis is misbehaving. As you see, you on the live, so you know Curtis always acting up on my lives. Helps me. Oh, well, inbox him, Omar. Oh, yeah, you like his mixes, child, because he got all the songs we was partying to back in the day. I tell him to send you um, I'm on mix cloud. his link to the mix cloud. Well, I'm 12. I'm just a little mature and have a hair problem, so I grow hair, you know, more than a 12-year-old should. Hell, I need a walker because I got a little touch of arthritis in my 12-year-old knee. <laughs> I don't know why he always watching cheaters. Like, he planning on calling them on me. You ain't got to worry about me calling cheaters on you. All you got to do is worry about them two black eyes you're going to get if you do cheat. Yes, Adrian, I'm 12. What you mean, lies, Lauren? Yes, I'm 12. I'm a 12-year-old little butterfly. <laughs> Yes, I'm 12, and I'm with a 50-year-old man. A 12-year-old African booty scratcher. I like my scratcher. boyfriend's mature. A 12-year-old African booty scratcher. 
<laughs> my uncle gonna put Lord help my lying nephew. Whatever, I'm 12. Lies from the book of lies. I'm like just I a said, little mature for my age. Everybody close your Bibles and turn and, and pick up your book of lies and turn to the book of lies and um, turn to um, chapter 3, big verse 2. Lying, just lying. Yes, he is going to jail, Adrian, old. for messing with a 12-year-old. I'm just a little mature. I have a, I forgot what they call a condition where at 12 I grow all this facial hair. <laughs> and Sippy is a queen and jumped off the peanut butter jar. I don't know why y'all don't believe I'm 12. All right, I'm 15. I ain't gonna lie, I'm 15. Omar was there when the little truant officer tried to pick me up the other day on a Wednesday when I was walking. And they was like, little boy, why ain't you in school? And I said, I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not that age that you probably think I am. Lord, it's going to be another hole in the ceiling from the lightning that's getting ready to strike in this room, Lord Jesus. The truant officer tried to pick me up and take me to school. This guy right here. The condition is called 47. <laughs> exactly. I don't know what that number is, 47. I don't know what that number is. I don't know what that number is. It could be my age, you know, in reality. But in my mind, walking the strip is a prostitute. Who walking the... <laughs> Those days are over. <laughs> I don't sell this no more. Sell it? I'm married. Well, they say if you can't sell it, you better sit down on it. And put, They put me in the paddy wagon and was trying to take me to high school. I said, I'm not that age. And when you got in front of the judge, what did he say? About he said, wow, 12. you look like a juvenile. Mm. I can't believe you're 47. You look like you're 12 years old. I said, mm. I know. Mm. Did y'all hear me when I said, mm. I don't know why y'all don't believe me. Y'all hurting my feelings. I'm hanging up and I'm going to cry. See, this is the reason why people do what they do because of you internet bullies. Because you lying. This ain't no internet bully. You just lie. Y'all internet bullying 15 me. Fifteen years old, fifteen hundred years ago. I am fifteen. They say if we embody something, then we believe it. Who officer you can't Stevie Wonder? Fifteen years old. How the officer gonna be Stevie Wonder? Stevie Wonder was blind, bitch, and he could clearly see I look fifteen. <laughs> I know y'all do. I love me too. That's why I know I'm fifteen. Did you cut it out with the ice? No, I want to eat it. Fifteen thousand years old. Curtis, you know Very what? that. Very that. Matter of fact, I have to text Ty back because he just sent me a text, but I couldn't respond because I'm on this live. And I'm going to tell him when he get home from work in the gym to punch you in the mouth for me. All right, y'all. I was supposed to be out in the street right now, but I'm not. You're not 15, bro. Adrian, I'm 15. Just because we was working together don't mean that you know my life. Now, I was supposed to be out in the street right now, working. But clearly, I'm here playing with y'all on this live right now. So now... Because my friend is cooking. I have to go pick up my food. And then after I pick up the food, I have to bring it back home. Then we have to go to the park, for the house music in the park. 
And I guess I'll be there till 8 o'clock tonight. And that'll be my day. So, you all enjoy your day as well. I'll be out in the hot, in the heat, and I'll pass out when I'm ready to come home. Kisses. And I will talk to you all later. Kisses from the McCrays. Yeah, like I have to end my live like he ends his. Team McCray in the building. Get out and work. Thought they were going to the river. They were, they can, but I'm like, I might as well just go pick it up myself. Oh, uh, thanks, Adrian. Thank you. I will have, I, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be live from the um, little house music in the park. So, just watch the live. We'll be live at the house music in the park once we get there. Later, y'all. Team McCray. All day.